let's move on to we, are we done talking? Oh, yeah, Wombat's fortnightly news, I think. Yeah. That's where we are. So I play. The reason why I didn't watch m- many exciting new shows over the weekend is because I was too busy playing Avengers: The Game. Uh, I finished the main story in Avengers: The Game. Yep. Oh wow, you did. How long did that take? Uh, according to my Xbox, it took about twenty hours. Okay. Well, that's a lot of hours. Uh, <laughs> I was expecting about ten hours. Yeah, hmm. I may have like dicked around. And it also may just not be an accurate amount. Okay. So, <laughs> but I played the game and I have many, many thoughts on Avengers, the video game. Okay. I can, I've played a bunch of the campaign so we can talk about it. Yeah. I think at its core, mm-hmm. there is a very good game there. I like playing the game. I'm having fun while playing the game. When you say playing the game, I believe you're referring to doing combos on guys, popping them up in the air and just beating yeah. beating them up. That, beating that's the crap. The, yeah. That's the game. Yes. Beating the crap out of robots and aim agents as either Captain America or Thor or Iron Man or Black Widow. Who's your favorite so far? Um, I really like it might be Thor, it might be Captain America. I think there there are some similarities between the two of them. And sometimes for a change of pace, it is fun to play as Black Widow because you can play her as, essentially when you use her, it's a third-person shooter, mm-hmm. which adds a, just a, a change. Sure. Mm-hmm. I haven't unlocked her in the campaign yet. Oh, okay. Yeah. But, I mean, they're, they're on the cover. It's not a spoiler. You get the play right. as her. They did a good job with the story, I feel. It's, like, it's pretty decent. I, I find the parts pretty boring when you have to walk around the base walking around the helicarrier is pretty stupid walking around any place is just like yeah a, sort of a little bit of a it's just like destiny like yeah it's so annoying to have to walk around these hubs it's just like just make put it in a menu yeah but they want people to show off their 15 dollars skin so you know so people buy them yeah i uh, i do uh, like yeah i like the gameplay aspect but like the loading times are very long at least on xbox one x Coming off of Ghost of Tsushima, where there's like no loading times, it's very, it's sort of a harsh reality that we're dealing with. Um, especially, and I die in, a lot, it seems. Uh, I don't know. It's fun. I'll keep playing it. I appreciate Verizon hooking us up with the. Uh, yeah, up with- it was the free <laughs> Verizon copy. The problem with the game is that it is the buggiest game I've ever played, maybe in my entire life. I've had it crash on me multiple times. It crashed on I had me yesterday. That, did you see my video where I was uh, I was doing a story mission and I looked to my left and there was Thor and Hulk standing on a helicopter platform. And then I looked to my right and there's the Hulk and Thor standing somewhere else. Then I look over and there they are over here. And then I look over there again and they somehow are magically warping to my left and my right depending upon where I look. And I needed to clear the area before I moved on, but I couldn't move at all because there was some sort of weird glitch and the characters just kept popping in and out. At one point, I was supposed to be Black Widow to move the story, but the game loaded me up as Ms. Marvel and I was Ms. Marvel and I would walk past Ms. Marvel in the hallway. (laughs) High five. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, hey, it was like that Spider-Man meme. And, of course, I showed you the funny photo of the bald woman with her hair on the floor. And also, all of my unlocked skins have disappeared. Sweet. Yeah. So, I'm kind of waiting for them maybe to fix it a little bit more before I play again. Because it was really frustrating because I was like, oh, I finally unlocked the iconic Captain America costume. I'm going to maybe I'll play as a little, as a little Captain America as a new costume. And I go and I put the game on, and it's locked again. I'm like, how is this possible? And then I'm like, okay, I'll switch to Iron Man. I'll put on one of his, one of his. And then, nope. Every, I had seven outfits for Iron Man. I turned the game on yesterday. I'm down to three. Right. I think one of the best bugs I've ever seen in any video game was the picture you posted on Twitter of the guard in the hallway. Yeah. She cool. had, she had, she was completely bald, and on the floor was her hat with the hair in it. Yes. It's pretty much the greatest bug in the history of video games. Yeah, it's <laughs> The game is so buggy. They released a patch yesterday 
but that patch did not fix the outfit thing. Right. They don't quite know how to fix it, That's according cool. to what I've been reading. That's good. And they basically, I think they spent put so much effort into trying to sell things that it screwed up everything else when it comes to the skins. Right. And yeah, and that's a problem. Also, the little challenge trees for all the characters are no the the to unlock stuff. The little battle pass wannabe stuff that they're doing isn't fun at all. The cool. fact that it's its own separate form of XP that you need to get, and you can only get that XP from doing specific challenges that are honestly not fun to do. Right. As opposed to just having them tied to the XP that your character gains by you playing the game in a way that you enjoy playing right sort of takes you out of the game it, Pl- it you're not you're no longer immersed in playing as your favorite avenger you're now okay i got to shoot 15 people in the head okay <laughs> as the avengers do and, 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 I'm, and you so you're no longer like yeah okay i'm iron man and i'm going to use my my you're grinding I, you're I'm fucking like, yeah. grinding yeah i'm like, okay ready grinding. and one Wait, wait, wait. No, I got to move her. Wait, 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 wait. No, Thor, don't hit the guy. I got to shoot yeah. him in the head. It Doesn't it really make you appreciate more, uh, the Spider-Man game on PlayStation? Like, they just <laughs> yes. made a game. Yeah, because that like... game, they just made a game that's fun. The costumes are all unlockable in the game. It's you play with the style you want to play as, and you're not forced to do anything you don't want to do. And this game doesn't understand the... Sp- I, not to sound like a... a dick but this game doesn't (laughs) understand the spirit of marvel it only cares about the spirit of lining their pockets money yeah and i feel like the people i feel like there are probably people who worked on this game that are probably a little embarrassed by that they obviously would never say that but uh (laughs) Because there are there are people that work on these Marvel games because they love Marvel, and it's like you know, and to see some of that sort of get tarnished a little bit, and not like Marvel's never been tarnished before. I mean, it's owned by Disney. I mean, it's uh, look, it's it's, the game's not embarrassing. It's that's a it's like it's fine. It's it's probably better. It's it's probably exceeded expectations, if anything. But I've heard it'll be interesting to see how it does because I don't think the the people that are bought. People that are buying this game because they love Marvel are going to be disappointed in a lot of the weird, grindy, yeah. pay for stuff that's not that they're not used to. It, yeah. The people that buy Marvel games are the kind of people that are used to buying a game like a Spider Man where they want to be Spider Man and not have to think about all this ancillary. I don't know that that's true. I don't. They may not know that they want this or that yeah. they get addicted I think to it. There's a lot of Marvel games. Like if you look on. Um, iOS and everything that yes, people those are games. pretty familiar with playing Marvel games. Where I guess they're gonna pay extra for stuff. I mean, Spider. You go back to Spider Man, but Spider Man's an outlier. Of course, Spider Man. There is yeah, you not know what a the difference is though. Spider-Man. You know what the difference is? Those games on on iOS are free, and this is a sixty dollar game that has fifteen dollar skins in it. You knew and, that going in. Yeah. Oh, I of course I knew that going in. I'm just saying that's what this game has. We need and the that's Verizon actually a lot season different. pass. That's actually a lot different than you know than those Marvel games where you're buying characters, I guess. But I don't know. It's a I, I it's a drag. The whole yeah check off boxes. To the the whole shit. that the whole underlying that isn't the game. Like I said, the game itself is a lot of fun, and I it's and fun I swinging think, around as yeah. Miss Marvel and the, they did a and great unlocking job their the different character. skills for the characters is cool. You know, yeah, yes, you have to unlock it, but once you unlock the ability for Thor to take his hammer and go like this, it's pretty cool because right. you're walking around and I'm Thor and I'm going right. like this, and you know, and I I'm appreciate that. Yeah, and I'm beating the crap out of robots. I mean, you know, that's that's fun. Don't get me wrong. There's a very good game in there. I just think there's too much crap on top of yeah. the good game. And uh, hopefully at some point they kind of find their way. But I don't know. I think Shipwreck was right about one thing, though. Spider-Man doesn't matter because by 2021, no one's going to be talking about Marvel's Avengers game. <laughs> you're, you're, you are you're finished it already. I know. Like, there, there's a, there's you're, like a. You're not gonna make it to 
whoever that other character, the Hawkeye character, they yeah. announced. There's an ep- <laughs> there is an epilogue to the story that I do want to finish. And I do want to do all the iconic character missions to get their iconic character skins. Like, that's the kind of stuff, though, that would keep me coming back. You add in things like, you know, a Captain America mission that ends with me getting a new Captain America look is something I would do. But a new Captain America mission that ends with this non-cosmetic gear that I finish the game and I still have no idea what one piece of gear does differently than another piece of gear. That's a waste of time. They should literally just drop the mechanic completely. Just just drop it. It's, it's, it's well, I'm, I'm glad that I have not started this yet because I'm going to wait until they Tighten get some of these up. patches in place. Yeah, 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 when they get there. And I think you're going to really like it. That's the other oh, thing. Oh, I do too. It's yeah, just... I think you'll really enjoy it. I think the game is a lot of fun. You just There's can't just... drop this the same day as Tony Hawk for me. Mm. No, <laughs> that's different. We should play together. Yeah, we should Tony all Hawk? play together. Sure. No. 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 Never. <laughs> Avengers. Yeah. Well. We could do one of those uh, weird multiplayer online missions that are there for reasons that I still don't understand. Right. Uh, let's move on. Tony Hawk. Are we done? Are we just more to I say you about talked, Tony Hawk? You talked about that. You told me I could talk about Tony show. Hawk more earlier. Fine. Talk about Tony Hawk more. <laughs> did it's you good. unlock they Wolverine did a good yet? Job. Is Wolverine in the game? I don't. I don't think any of the. Those characters are in the game. This game's stupid. What? Tell me more about it. Um, it's, I, I, yeah, it's really good. Like, I play it about, I don't know. I, I play it, way past my bedtime every night. <laughs> how fa- how late do you stay up? I stay up about an hour later than than normal playing this game. So uh, nine thirty. No, <laughs> I, I, it's usually. I usually go to bed around 11.30. I'm usually up yeah. until 12.30 or 1 because okay. of this game. Yeah. Um, and it's because of all of the tick boxes that I know are just barely out of reach constantly. Um, and it's that two-minute loop. Two more minutes. Two more minutes. Two more so minutes. It's only, oh, it's only that, two more minutes. I almost got that gap that time. I guess I was right at the end. So I just, yeah, restart that level again, please. Um, the... I've gotten more into the mechanics that they added on top. Like the layers they put on top of this game are actually pretty good (laughs) to modernize it with all of the challenges and the new modes for speed runs and everything. Um, Everything seems achievable to me, except for the, I look at that score 10 million points in a level and I was never quite that guy. Right. That's Um, probably good. That that one's upsetting that they they have that level of achievement out there, which I know it's achievable. Like I look <laughs> at it and go, like, oh, two percent of the people have it so far. Right. It bothers you. It bothers me that I'm not in the top two percent of Tony Hawk. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. It, it, it's really good though. I can't believe that they they successfully pulled this off. I I really hope like it's amazing. I know they they use the same engine and everything because it's apparent. Like when I do gaps, I'm like, yeah, this is the same jankiness that this gap always had, like where it doesn't register. Um, but like, if they can pull this off with new levels, if they can somehow take that add engine levels, and, yeah, that'd be and cool. come up with new levels and make right. Tony Hawk a relevant video game franchise again, mm. I would be all on board on that. And by that, I mean, don't make him get off the board and walk. Right. And that that was a bad idea when they started doing that. <laughs> so, 